everyone, welcome back to the Austin Physio YouTube channel. Today's video is all about our top lower back pain exercises. So lower back pain is incredibly common among adults with approximately 80 to 90% of people suffering with lower back pain, stiffness or tightness. So today's exercises, we are going to be focusing on the top movements to stretch, strengthen and relax through the lower back. So the first exercise that we want to have a look at for our lower back pain relief video is looking at knee sways. So knee sways are a great way to start to encourage movement if you've been suffering with stiffness, tightness and soreness into the lower back. So again, you want to look at quality, not quantity initially. So you don't have to go as far with the knee sways. It's just to start to encourage that movement, aiming for about 30 seconds. Next, we can start to look at unilateral knee hugs. Again, if it's too much, put the other leg out straight. Just bend it up slightly to help with the range. And you want to repeat that on the opposite side. This is a great way to decompress and open up into the lower back. Stretch down into the glutes to help to relieve any kind of stiffness, tightness or soreness forming around that area next again if you feel comfortable and you can move on to this move you want to start to look at knee hugs this is a fantastic way to reduce any pressure into the lower back you can start off by just holding it there and then gradually adding in a little bit of sway side to side to get extra movement into the lower back once we've added that sway for about 30 seconds, we then want to start to encourage even more movement into this lower back. So one way of doing this to relieve that pressure and tightness is to add stretching and release through the piriformis. So we can start off with the beginner phase, just letting the leg rest in that position, and then you can reach through and clasp behind the knee. So this is a great way to pull the leg up towards you. Again, holding it for about 30 seconds, you should feel the stretch across the glute, across the bum, into the legs a little bit into the lower back because it's all stretching so again looking at that beginner phase first just letting the leg drop out and again if you want to add in more of a stretch reaching the hands through clasping behind the back of the knee and then gently pulling it up towards you so holding it in that position you want to aim to hold this for about 30 seconds to hold in this release once you've done that you want to unclasp the hands the next thing we want to add in is a rotational stretch so again I'm keeping the knees together you can allow the top leg to drop over even further if you want and you want to turn your head and upper torso to look the opposite way this is so important to add in that rotational stretch repeating on the opposite side so stretching across the body great way to stretch across the lower back even reaching up into the ribs into the upper back to relieve any tension and tightness that is forming once you've added in that rotation the next one is a lovely child's pose position so this is great for opening up into the hips and releasing all the way up through the back so you can start off in a beginner phase if you want to make the stretch even deeper you can push or move the hips apart push the body back to increase that stretch and allow the hands to stretch up forward the further you reach the hands up the more of the stretch in child's pose finally we want a hip flexor stretch so you're going to lunge forward keeping the body upright that is going to stretch around the front of the leg so the back leg that is kind of stretching through you're going to feel it into the hip flexors and then repeating on the opposite side this is so important to reduce overall tightness around the hips around the lower back improve mobility improve function and aiming to add this routine between one to two times per week 